guys, you ask me this question so, so many times. How can Freely, the banana girl, eat so, so much fruit, like 50 bananas a day, and stay super slim, not gaining weight, as a about 50 kilogram female? How does it work? Where does all the energy go? And now I decided to give you the science-based answer. The first and the easiest answer is she doesn't eat them. Or maybe doesn't eat them every day. Maybe she just eats them once a week and then eats less. Let's assume Freely is a 50 kg female with certain percent body fat. Then her resting metabolic rate is 1236 calories. That is actually the energy she needs just to live, for her heartbeat to breathe and just for her blood to circulate. Then for food digestion she would need about 124 calories. As she doesn't just sit there all the time but also moves, her non-exercise energy expenditure would be about 247 calories according to my estimation. This makes a total daily energy expenditure of 1607 calories without exercise. Now let's have a look how many calories a banana has. A medium banana has about 105 calories. In her YouTube video she ate 50 bananas in one day. This equals about 5250 calories. Then if we take into account that she expends about 1607 calories in one day, the energies that 50 bananas give are enough for 3.26 days. This means if she eats all the bananas in one day, she would need to fast for two days and skip breakfast on the third day to make up for it. Number two, she eats them but the nutrients don't get absorbed and there are three options. First, she might have an eating disorder like bulimia and she doesn't really keep the bananas in her body or the massive amount of fructose and fiber causes digestive issue. So she gets diarrhea, that's why she can't absorb everything. Okay, third option. Let's assume she really eats all the bananas and they get also absorbed. According to the first law of thermodynamics, you can't destroy or create energy. You can just transform energy from one form to the other. For this reason, if Freely eats really that many bananas and get all the calories into her body, then we need to find a way how to transform these calories into another form of energy so that she doesn't gain weight. We know that she exercises a lot, she cycles, she runs. So let's check out how many hours she has to cycle to burn all these calories. As already mentioned before, 50 bananas have an energy content of about 5250 calories. Freely's daily total energy expenditure is about 1607 calories. This means that she needs to burn off 3643 calories through cycling. Cycling with a pace of 19 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour burns about 0.167 calories per kilogram of body weight per minute. However, this number also includes the basometabolic rate and the energy the body needs to digest. So I need to subtract from this number actually the total daily energy expenditure during the time of cycling, which I have done. After I've done it, I got that she needs to cycle 437 minutes or 7 hours and 17 minutes to burn 3643 calories. Another option is she uses the energy she eats in form of bananas to produce heat. Let's check out how much heat she can produce. 
Let's assume that the heat that is used to heat up Freely's body is the heat she produces from excess banana consumption. As I calculated before, about 50 bananas a day equal 5250 kilocalories, and Freely's daily energy expenditure is 1607 calories. This means that there are 3643 calories we need to burn. Freely's body weight is about 50 kg and the heat capacity for a human is 3470 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. The heat capacity of a defined system is the amount of heat needed to rise the system's temperature by 1 degree. And now we just need to calculate by how many degrees we are going to rise the temperature of the system called Freely. We need to rearrange the formula first. The 3,643 kilocalories are about 15,242 kilojoules. When we divide it by 50 kilograms and 3,470 joules or 3.47 kilojoules per kilogram per degree Celsius, we get that the energy amount freely gets from the bananas can rise her body temperature by 88 degrees Celsius. Let's assume Freely's normal body temperature is 36.6 degrees Celsius. So, with all the energy she gets from bananas, she can reach 125 degrees Celsius, which are 257 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's assume she doesn't really start boiling at once. If spread it over a 24 hour period, then the average rise in bodily temperature for one hour is 3.7 degrees Celsius, which would equal a body temperature of 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit. So, if you are cold in winter, maybe you should get the freely to keep you warm. And there is another option. Maybe she's vibrating. Maybe she uses all the energy just to vibrate. There was some research that examined the metabolic impact of shivering. In Freely's case, let's assume severe shivering just to expand as many calories as possible. Severe shivering involves gross movements of the trunk and upper body and lower extremities. The researchers have found that severe shivering gives a hypermetabolic index of 2.4. The hypermetabolic index for energy expenditure was derived by dividing a time average measure of resting energy expenditure by expected energy expenditure. For our case, we just take Freely's resting metabolic rate, which is very similar to her resting energy expenditure. When we multiply it by 2.4, we get 2966 calories per day. Well, it's still not enough to make up for the 5250 calories she consumes, because there is still a 2284 calories difference. So we need to come up with something else. Let's add fidgeting. Fidgeting expands 10.3 kJ per minute above the resting energy expenditure. These are about 2.46 calories per minute and 147 calories per hour. This means she would need to stand while fidgeting for 15 and a half hours in order to burn 2,284 calories, which we had left after we made her severely shivering for 24 hours. And now we want to have the real answer. What really happens? How all the energy she eats disappears? Well, I can't give you this answer. Please choose your favorite theory. Thanks a lot for watching and if you liked this video and the information I gave you, then I would really appreciate it if you would share it with others. Let the others know where all the banana energy goes. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscription button down below and subscribe and see you very soon.